Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here and I just finished a video on the 16-inch MacBook Pro's gaming performance not too long ago and I included some benchmarks that showed significant improvement with an eGPU. I'll provide a link to that if you haven't already seen it, but if you've already seen the benchmarks, the results are pretty decent on the 5500 uh, GPU that it has, but you're here because you don't want to do decent. You don't want games in medium or low settings because that would be pointless. Otherwise, you would just play it on a console. You could also be here because you want to get the best performance out of your Mac without having to build another computer, even though sometimes that would make more financial sense, but never mind. I'm here to help, not here to judge. So in this video, we're going to look at how easy it is to get one set up on your MacBook Pro or basically any Mac with a Thunderbolt 3 port. For NVIDIA cards, in bootcamp, it's practically just plug and play. For Radeon cards, it requires a bit of finesse and work, which I won't cover, but I will give you a link if you are brave enough to try it. AMD Radeon cards are plug and play on Mac OS, but NVIDIA is not, which is kind of silly. You basically need an AMD card for a Mac OS and an NVIDIA card for a Windows bootcamp. In this video, I'm also gonna show you how I got an RTX 2060 Super setup in bootcamp using an Akito Node uh, Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, but you can use any Thunderbolt 3 eGPU such as uh, Razer Core as well. So all you do is pop in the card, plug it in, install the NVIDIA drivers, and you're done. No, I'm serious, it's that easy. Sometimes you might have to go into device manager and manually enable the card, but that takes a matter of seconds. Then you can see here below that the NVIDIA control panel comes up and see that it is utilizing the video card. Remember to disconnect here if you're going to switch back to Mac OS and unplug. Super important, make sure you unplug that. Some other tips to keep in mind, Every time you want to reboot your Mac and go back into bootcamp, make sure you unplug the eGPU because you will sometimes get stuck on the Windows loading screen. Also, when you're using an eGPU that doesn't have power delivery, make sure you are using the 97 watt power brick that comes with a Mac and have it plugged straight into the Mac, not through some cheap dock that can't support 100 watts. In my setup, I use an external monitor as well, so I usually have it just output to the main large display and turn off the Mac display. No real improved performance when doing this, but I just want to focus on the one screen while I'm gaming. And finally, if you haven't heard what coil wind is, listen. Yeah, that's actually common on a lot of video cards and gaming setups. You can return or exchange these a hundred times and will most likely get the same results. So how do we fix this? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.